Hi guys, today we are going to install the DLSS to FSR 3 mod for the flight simulator. To check if it improves, I have recorded the default frame rate at the New York airport with the flyover A320. Inside the cockpit, we are roughly getting around uh, 35 to 38 FPS. And outside we are roughly getting around uh, 39-38 fps same as inside so here uh, you can notice that uh, MSI and also the inbuilt uh, frame rate is recording the same frames so now let's install the mod First, for the mod to work, we have to enable the hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. For that, you have to click on Start Settings and then uh, go to Display and then go to Graphics and then change default graphics settings and uh, there you will find hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. So you have to turn it on. So that's it for the Windows part. So first we'll go to GitHub. I'll provide you the link in the description. There we'll download the DLSSG to FSR3 zip file. Once you download it somewhere, extract it. There you will find a readme file with all the instructions. And then uh, all you have to do is right click on uh, disable NVIDIA signature checks and open it. You will get a pop-up uh, for registry editor, there you have to click yes and then uh, there will be two DLL files. So copy those two DLL files, now go to your simulator folder, right click on the Microsoft Simulator, manage and browse local files. So now we are inside the flight simulator folder, we will paste the two DLL files here. And that's it. Uh, we have to close everything and start the simulator. So for the f next time you start the simulator, you will get a message that uh, FSR 3 is enabled, DLSS to FSR 3. So you have to click on OK and uh, let the simulator load. There if you go to graphics, under options uh, you will find uh, extra item mentioned uh, NVIDIA DLSS uh, frame generation. You have to turn it on. So I turned it on and uh, click on apply and save. So go back. Go back to the same airport. Airbus Alpha Sierra X-Ray 320 ready for straight out departure at runway 22. So here what I found is the MSI afterburner frames are actually showing double the frames of what the flight simulator is actually running. On the right side, you are still getting 30 FPS. Uh, however, the afterburner is showing 60 FPS. But to be frank, I did not find that much of a difference between these two. And also, the actual simulator does not feel like it's actually getting 60 frames per second. So I don't think this works. So even the outside is also same. We are roughly getting uh, double the FPS in the MSI afterburner while we are getting the same FPS uh, in the Microsoft Tractor. 
uh, I did not even find the smoothness to be that much of a difference of what we previously got. So if you have a very poor card, a uh, very basic card, 3050 Ti or 3050 or 3060, you may find some difference. So what I have is a RTX 3070 Ti. So I did not actually find that much of a difference, even though it shows uh, higher frames. That's it for this video. Thanks.